So today we're looking at the Murata guitar support, and this is the suction cup version of the support. You've probably noticed me using it over the last few weeks. You're most likely familiar with the old Murata guitar support, which is a clamp system. It's been around since the 70s and was very popular. Um, but as soon as I got a, a, a raised fingerboard guitar, which gets skinnier at the top, the clamps no longer worked because they're uniform and only two would clamp on. So, and then I stopped using it for years and years. Recently though, the Woodside guitar support came out and these clamps are adjustable to work on a modern guitar. And also they made an adjustable pivoting part here so you can adjust the angle. So that inspired me to look at the Murata again and to check out the suction cup version. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just quickly show you the guitar support, what it's all about, and then I'll talk about what I like about it, and then talk about some serious downsides to it. But overall, I really like the support, and you're going to see me using it a lot. So pretty straightforward, um, the suction cups just come on and off. Just put it on and press, and then it's on. You can adjust the height. I've got this tightened super tight right now, but you can adjust the, the height by loosening that and just pivoting that out. It's just a pole, right? So you can tighten it anywhere. I have it bottomed out though because I think it's more secure that way, and I'll be talking a lot about that. It does pivot on this here, so you have some amount to pivot. If you lean forward, your guitar will go with you. If you lean back, it'll pivot like that. So that's it. I'll just quickly do a close-up here for you. There it is. Okay, so what do I like about this support? Well, first thing, I don't always trust suction cups in performance. But the good thing about this guitar support is that the weight of the guitar is pushing on those suction cups at all times, and even more so with your arm, you know, on the guitar. So all of the pressures, pressures just like compacting the suction cups on the instrument, which means that they, they don't come off. They don't seem to come off. I don't have anything on my French polish. The suction cups are just right on the French polish, and they don't seem to ever come off. And I think that's just because the guitar is just resting like that. You know, I love my little Gitano support that goes here, but there's so much side pressure on those suction cups that, you know, on occasion it does come off. Not with this one. So that's that's a serious plus. If you're going to use suction cups, that's a really good plus. The other guitar support that really works for that is the guitar lift. It goes on the back and there doesn't seem to be much pressure on it so the suction cups don't seem to come off. But you know, I like this guitar support because of that, but also um, you can just take this off and throw it in your bag. It is pretty like compact in that way, so um, fairly minimal in that regard. And I like simplicity of design. There's just a pole, pop it on, start playing. And I have the pole bottomed out, so there's no chance of anything happening there. It's just that it won't ever fall down or anything like that. So simplicity of design is, is a real plus in, in my book. Now there's some downsides though to the guitar support. First thing, the pole that it came with was too short. So I had to order the longer pole. And then it came and I put it in and the longer pole was a little too long. Um, so I, I had to take a hacksaw and hacksaw off like a centimeter to make it the right height for me. That's kind of a pain. You can order the shorter pole and then adjust it because the, you know you can adjust it and then just tighten it. But I want it bottomed out because I think it's more trustworthy if it's if it's just pressed against the bottomed out metal rather than just you know in place with the screws, right? So yeah, but a hacksaw is a pretty straightforward job. The other problem though was that um, it wasn't quite steep enough of an angle, and I think modern players like quite a steep angle. And the way it came was probably great for a lot of players out there, but I wanted a slightly steeper angle. And so what I did is I took out this screw here and put a washer in there, 
which just kind of elevated it slightly more. So I did have to do that modification. And I'll just show you where that is. So just right in between the screw and the support there, I put a washer. And so that, that helped. Now that's a downside though, is like you get the support and then you have to like order a new pole and you have to hacksaw and you have to put a little washer in and then sometimes the screw isn't long enough anymore so you have to get one from the hardware store. That's all a big pain. Um, other guitar supports um, try to get around that by just making it really adjustable. But as soon as you get an adjustable guitar support, suddenly all those adjustments can, they, there's an opportunity for them to slip or for there to be an error in the, you know, while you're using it. This one, now that I've done that work, I really like it. It's like set up for me and I just, I, I, I'm really enjoying the support. It's not coming off, it's, it's really straightforward, it's simple, and I've got the angle and height that I want from the guitar support, at least at home here on this chair. It's the pandemic, so I'm not performing with a lot of different chair heights and stuff, but at the moment, it's feeling really great for me. Um, other people will be reluctant to probably get it because, you know, they, they don't necessarily want to modify it. But, you know, it, guitar is such a specific thing, like sometimes you have to modify it. That's what I've come down to. It's just come down to that. It's like, I've reviewed so many guitar sports and I love them all, but I also have the little issues with them. So either you modify it to suit your liking or you move on to a different support. The other downside to the guitar sport is that I feel like this platform is a little too big. But it is very secure, like it doesn't seem to slip on my leg very much. Um, and it's like you can get it really nice and close so the guitar can be really upright like this. So, I mean, on the one side I think it, it feels really good and I, I like the way the support feels. I wish it was more, you know, the guitar support just has like a piece of foam on the bottom and then if you need to pivot, you just pivot all you want. I. I would almost prefer on this one if it just came down and there was just like a a piece of like metal that was just curved like that and then I can I can move the guitar support all I want just on that simple piece. Instead they have this kind of big platform so whatever. Um you know maybe that's another modification I have to do. In the end maybe I'll make my own guitar support. I have been designing I have a couple of designs on the in the works um and I'm just building prototypes but in the end, they're probably just going to be like the perfect support for me, but not for other people. Um, so it's always it's always a funny thing. Um, I, I want like absolute simplicity and very little adjustability, but I also want the perfect angle. So it would have to be almost custom made. But that's the support and you're going to see me using it a lot because I, I, I do like it. And um, suction cups are very convenient. They look kind of clean. There's no, no cl clamps on top of the guitar or anything like that. And this one seems pretty secure, so um, I'm quite happy with it. Maybe you would be too, but just beware that y you might have to kind of play around with it and um, to get the perfect angle.